Simplicity is about subtracting the obvious and adding the meaningful. Think about that. Simplicity is about subtracting the obvious and adding the meaningful. That's what we do here every day. That's what our charts are all about. That's what our system is all about, is making sure that we are focusing on what really counts. You have to, like a laser beam, separate the signal from the noise. Remember, all we care about is accurately following price movement, finding trends and following those and making the market work for us. We cannot control the market. We are not day traders. We're not trying to find inefficiencies in the system. Those are slowly but surely, I think, going away with computer trading, quant trading, artificial intelligence, all that. We're not looking for inefficiencies. We're looking for trends. And of course, the biggest, most obvious trend we have is the weekly vertical crossover. We had one occur on the S&P 500 back on the week ending the 1st of November. We see the market up again today, 0.05% on the S&P 500. Special training for you on Pearson's Law. I want you to have that. It is in the show notes. For the subscribers at chartingwealth.com, go to the channel. That's chartingwealth.com. Put in your email address and your name, and we will put you on the daily review mailing list. Every day we mail out thousands of these. We'll send you the training you're listening to right now, plus this is our daily review you're listening to, plus all the special trainings that we have. And the one we have today is on Pearson's Law, and it's about how important it is to record what you are doing, that when you measure things and record them, you improve exponentially in your training. I want you to learn about that. So sign up if you haven't already. Get that special training. Also, great Patreon call today. Enjoyed having all the Patreon members on the call. Appreciate their support of the channel. It's them. It, it's those guys and, and women who help support the work that we do here, the bandwidth, the texting service, the email services, all that stuff that they help pay for. We so appreciate it. And we have a special training going out to them on the secret of profit and loss bands. Those are special bands that we use, uh, horizontal lines that we use to help us see our profit and loss potentials. So again, very important training going out to the Patreons today. Look in your mailbox. Now, what do we see going on? We jump into these charts. Price percent oscillator still heading up, weakened a little bit. Derivative oscillator still heading up. Uh, we can see that the candle is a little bit bigger. The wick has moved a little bit higher, but nothing super dramatic. Nice thing is price movement is above the weekly trend line and the price percent oscillators still positive for the day up just barely 0.05 percent you'll see more of that as we delve a little deeper what do we see on the two-day chart continuing to move up prices above the two-day trend line well above the weekly price percent oscillator still heading up derivative oscillator peaked out back on the two-day candle ending the seventh and has been excuse me going down since then of course, this latest two-day candle has finished drawing. It is a higher candle. We like to see that. And we'll be starting a new candle tomorrow, new two-day candle. We see on the four-hour chart, down movement in the morning, up movement in the afternoon. So again, a red spinning top in the morning, green spinning top, open box, green candle in the afternoon. Price percent oscillator still heading down though. Derivative oscillator still negative, losing downward momentum. Price is still above that two-day trend line. So we'll continue to watch, see what there is to see. Loss limit still in effect. And uh, again, we've had a nice bump up here. We'll just continue to watch, monitor, see what there is to see. Again, if your triggers go off for your profits, then go ahead and take those. Pay close attention to always the bigger charts, the two-day 
and the weekly for potential weakening and would like to see that weekly candle getting a lot bigger than it is right now and want to continue to see the price percent oscillator derivative oscillator moving up. On the Qs, it went up just a little bit today, also 0.02%. We can see the Qs reaching higher highs on the wick so far this week as we get three days in to the five-day weekly candle. The candle body is higher and the wick is higher. Price percent oscillator is losing a little bit of energy, still heading up. Derivative oscillator gaining upward momentum. Go to the two-day chart. And again, let's see, we hit a high of 102.72 back on the candle ending the 7th. This latest candle, 102.21. So we've not gotten higher yet. No, 202.21. There we go. Sure looked like it. Yes. So we have hit higher highs. That is good to see. We want to continue to see things move up. So that is a is moving higher that is good. Derivative oscillator is losing some momentum, but that price percent oscillator is still heading up. Of course, not as strong as it had been. It is slowly bending, but that's quite nice nonetheless. Let's go to that four-hour chart, and we can see how really a sideways slide for the last two days. Price percent oscillator still gaining downward, heading down even more. Derivative oscillator still negative, about flat. So again, we'll continue to watch, see what there is to see, pay close attention to those weekly and two-day charts if you are still in that going up trade on either one of our stock indexes. We go to 20-year bonds. Now again, you would expect if stocks are up, bonds would be down. Stocks are just barely up. Bonds are up also. We still have a red candle that is drawing. Price percent oscillator still heading down. Derivative oscillator losing some momentum. We can see, though, that we've not reached a lower low than the prior week. That is a concern. You want to see things continuing to move down overall. Price is below that weekly trend line, however you cut it. That is good. Now we look at the two-day chart. Price is still below on the two-day trend line. Derivative oscillator losing momentum. Price percent oscillator is about flat, so it is getting weaker. We have a green spinning top. That's a solid. It's not an open box, not portending strong up movement, just lots of indecision as far as that spinning top goes. It is green, so do pay attention to that. We could just see... TLT, 20-year bonds, digesting those six days of down movement over the last two days. and Maybe it's just gathering, digesting, getting ready to move down again. Don't know. We'll continue to watch, see what there is to see. When we look at the four-hour chart, we can see how it went up over the day on Tuesday, bounded up in the morning, and uh, it's pretty much sideways in the afternoon. That's a red open box candle. It's not a red down candle. So again, just sort of a pullback in the upper movement. Price percent oscillator heading up quite nicely. Derivative oscillator heading up also. So again, watch those candles. If you were in the down move, you had plenty of time over a period where it sort of looked like it was and now, again, not saying that trade's over. If you start seeing violations of the two-day trend line, you see the price percent oscillator weaken more on that two-day chart. Do pay, pay close attention to that. Remembering that, again, we want to see a lower low on this weekly candle also. Derivative, derivative oscillator still quite negative. Price percent oscillator still heading down. But again, Pay attention to the two-day and the weekly if you are still in that down practice trade on bonds. We go to gold. Gold still a nice, strong down candle. Lower lows, bigger down candle than the prior week. No wick on top as per the prior week. Up for the day, however, 0.40%. Price percent oscillator still heading down. Derivative oscillator gaining downward momentum on that daily chart. Price is still well below the weekly and below the two-day. Go to the two-day chart. We can see how price is below. Derivative oscillator gaining momentum. Um, downward price percent oscillator still heading down. And again, we're hitting lower lows in gold. That is good on that two-day chart. Now we look at the four-hour. You can see where things bottomed out in the morning on Tuesday. 
since then sort of moving up. Haven't had a crossover yet, but might be getting close to that derivative oscillator gaining downward momentum. Price percent oscillator heading up. Price still well below the two-day and the weekly trend line. So again, keep your eye on gold. Could be digesting some of the strong down movement and getting ready to move down again. Just pay attention, particularly if you are in that down trade. Always pull the trigger. Take profits when you're hitting the areas that you have already, but when you jumped into that trade, decided you wanted to hit as far as profits go. A good chance to take some decent profits in gold over the last few days in your practice trade. My friends, that's where we are as we end the day. If you've not purchased our book, we've got a copy for you. Sent out a bunch yesterday. All you got to do is follow the link in the show notes to purchase. If you live overseas, for some reason, Square will not clear your credit card, but you can email us, cw at chartingwealth.com. We'll send you an invoice and send you your book wherever you are in the world. If you're interested in getting any of the special trainings we have for our Patreon members, become one. Follow the link in the show notes to Patreon membership. We have the short chart training, the long chart training, the Bitcoin training. We have a special Bitcoin chart that we share with you and a compilation of all the special trainings there, plus this latest one on using the secrets of the profit and loss bands. You will find that extraordinarily helpful and had such a great call with the Patreon members today. you need anything from us, please email us cw at chartingwealth.com. God bless my friends. All the best from the whole team at Charting Wealth World Headquarters.